This is going to be such a weird video. Hello. Um, I, I, I literally have no idea what I'm about to say, but I know what I want to say. And I just don't know whether it's actually going to come out right. Um, so then, over the last few days, it has been playing on my mind, or somewhere in the top of my brain, um, that there is a bit of a gay... Oh god, I don't know what to say. There is a following on my channel that I know is gay. Oh, it's so weird talking about this stuff on camera. Um, but yeah, when I went live, there was quite a few people who... It never dawned on me how many people that watch my videos is gay. And it's something that I don't think about. Oh, God. I never realised how many people out there on my channel was of a homosexual nature. And it... I had a bit of a really, really good chat yesterday with a really good mate of mine, and it has... I don't know, it's just so very, very surreal, the world that we live in today. Um, what I do want to talk about is how hard that can be. Um, it's hard, okay, speaking about stuff like this, because I have had these chats with a couple of friends of mine, as I've mentioned. Uh, I'm literally sat here not knowing how to say what I want to say. Do you know what I mean? It, it is so difficult, and I've never actually been stuttering over my words as much as I have on this video. Um, okay, so I'm just going to get down to it. First things first, I'm going to tell you the story of how I came out. I feel like it's about time that I actually spoke about stuff like this compared to, I don't know, like hiding it away or whatever, but my story was very complicated as I was a kid. Uh, found out I was gay, not by choice of my own or whatever, but I found out I was gay when I was in high school, really. Um, I spent about two, three years battling with it and I was in constant denial with myself. Um, but, towards the end of it, this is the hardest part actually, and this is the part that I... I don't know, that I kind of want to get my message across a little bit, but it took me about three or four years to come out to myself, which is one thing that I don't actually believe is spoken about across the board. You know, um, I don't think that many people I don't know, just talk about it and appreciate because coming out to yourself, there's, there's two stories, there's two sides to it basically. There's the people that are, I don't believe in it myself, but the people that are born gay, if that's real, I don't know, but I weren't necessarily born gay, it was something that I developed over the course, but having battled with stuff like that, having, because it was a battle, it was a very big struggle, having had all that going on inside my head and never ever, not once, speaking about it was very difficult for me. Um, but I came out to myself, um, and it's weird because I know the year, 2010, I came out to myself and then I didn't really necessarily know the next steps to go. But I told my best friend at the time, now me and me and my friend, we still speak occasionally, um, but when I told my best friend, we had a massive argument, and one thing led to another, and I was forced to come out. Um, I don't know who, because she had a boyfriend at the time, um, her and her other half. I don't know who, but they decided to tell the rest of the college and it was an utterly mortifying just the thought of people knowing your deepest darkest secret because that trust me i have no secrets if if i had god 
I'm Mr. Blabbermouth when it comes to my own. I'm good at keeping other people's secrets, but me, I'd, I'd like to wait around, as you can tell on this video. Um, but people decided, I'm not mentioning names, I'm really trying to avoid this because this is not the part that I want to actually speak about on this video, but people told other people and that was the point in my time where I felt right okay I have no choice in this this is out of my hands I need to tell my closest friends so what I did and it took so much but I'm glad I did, I'm glad it happened actually because it's an awful thing it's horrible and nobody should ever have to go through that um it was hard but I'm glad looking back on hindsight because if that didn't happen I don't necessarily know how I will have dealt with that you know um so yeah i had to come out to my friends i had to come out to my mum and dad which was very very hard and that was a very long story that i don't want to talk about in this video they are both absolutely fine now they're brilliant uh love my mum and dad to bits so yeah it's, it's not that it's it was just very very hard um and i've noticed i'm going on a tangent that was my story that, that that is how i came out very very basically um i don't even know why i'm making this video when i went live the other night when i noticed that there was this many this much of a gay following because i've noticed it now when there's this much of a gay following you i took a step back and thought why and i, I still don't know that now I, I don't understand that but the reason why this video is being made is because maybe there's people watching this video that hasn't come out or hasn't had their moment i've just realized actually how much of a contra contradiction this seems because i'm trying to give advice that ultimately i'm trying to give advice on how to come out or what your next step is but I've just, I've just told a story how I was outed as a kid. Don't think too much on that. That's just my experience. And actually, when you read up online, because I do like reading about stories on stuff like this. But when you look online, there's not many people, there's really, really not many people with a story such as mine um, or anything like that nature. Uh, most people nowadays are so accepting, like, you don't get anything really. It's... It's such an easy life once you've expressed yourself and once you've said those words. I just want the people who are inside that, that, that's not come out to realise that there's people out there that is. Um, there's people out there that are struggling and it's the same as you. And I'm offering... First time I've done this ever. Ever. But I'm offering to give you guys advice. Um, if there's anybody, anybody out there on this channel watching this video, if there's anyone that is having a difficult situation on this topic that wants to speak about it with someone, if they've not come out and if they are, I don't know, just coming to terms with their sexual sexuality or whatever, if they're coming to terms with it all, I have a Facebook page. There's a Facebook page, Troy by Blue. The link is in the description as normal. But you can come to me. Because it's interesting to hear people's stories and it's interesting to... I like giving advice. That is the type of person I am. Um, I don't judge and it would be really nice actually to feel like I might be able to potentially help someone. This video might have thousands of dislikes or whatever, uh, but God, I'm really nervous making this. I hope you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. I just feel like I've just uttered complete nonsense. I know what I want to say. I just don't know whether it's come out right. Come out. No, no. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this very, very bizarre video and it's complicated trying to make stuff like this i've never done a video like this ever ever so yeah just if you need advice or if you need help 
I'm there. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. It's. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go before I utter complete nonsense. Um, yeah. Ta ta. Um, been right. Laugh. Bye.